Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, I got a little surprise in the mail the other day. Um, Bob Lacey uh, sent me this. Uh, some, of the, some of you may know him as Bob from uh, Long Shadow Trees. And um, he asked me if I would take a look at these trees and uh, just tell you guys what I think about them. And I intend to do that today. So we're going to open this box. I'll give you all of Bob's information. And let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. These are um, two of Bob's uh, newest trees that he's doing. Um, they are... Uh, completely handmade they're they're completely uh, detailed the trunk is all made from scratch but let's take a look at it and start with the trunk if you look at the trunk real closely here you can see that Bob makes this out of a dowel or some type of metal uh, wood rather and he obviously scribes it down has really really nice trunk detail and then the branches themselves look very uh, very wispy let me back up here and give you a shot you can get an idea of how big it is I would say that's about a five inch maybe six inch tree um, they are supposed to be big trees um, I, I really like the uh, the feathery detail of the uh, branches and they're very they're very soft to the touch tree um, if I hold it up here and spin it around a little bit you can see how nice that looks I love the color uh, I like the dark gray trunk um, I, I think it it looks really good um, I really don't know what else to say about these other than they're really outstanding looking and uh, I think I think that Bob puts a lot of time and effort into these I know that he uh, loves them and cherishes him them like his his child and uh, let's take a look at the other one in here real fast okay this one happens to be a taller tree uh, I will explain that in just a minute these are end scale uh, this one here has more of a brownish trunk. It is also it is also scribed and and uh, has really really good uh, trunk detail. And once again, as the branches go up, this one this one here is a little bit different color. Also, I might point out, if you look at these two, you can tell there are just a slight bit difference in color. Uh, I, I like that about them for sure too because you start putting them putting them in a and making a forest out of them put them in, putting them in with other trees that's what I'm trying to get out um, you're gonna find that that difference just a slight difference in color is going to make all these trees really stand out really stand out but we'll get back to this one it has the same wispy detail as the other tree nice and soft and when you look at it very I don't know if I can get this on camera but we're gonna look look as close up as we can look I don't think I can get that close with the video camera but when I'm looking at this with a naked eye this the uh, branches here are not only very fine but whatever the uh, whatever the the um, flocking or the uh, ground foam whatever it is that Bob is putting on there when you look really really close at it as if you were an in-scale person it really almost looks like needles on the tree it really does it's very outstanding this one here has a little wispiness of, of brown showing through which I like a lot um, just an all-around outstanding looking tree and Bob takes the time to do some extra detailing like like leave a little gap you know the tree grew and then there was a bad winter and it didn't grow right I mean this is how stuff is in nature this is how stuff is, is in nature and Bob like I said he's, he does every one of these by hand and he obviously looks at a lot of trees and studies the trees um, and this one here is just simply outstanding 
So let me just give you, uh, you've seen his, his trees, uh, how nice they are. Oh, I might point out too, I've been holding them by the bottom. He also drills a hole in the bottom and has a toothpick inserted in there for easy installation on the layout. I wanted to point that out too. They would be very easy to install, uh, outstanding looking trees. And let me give you a little information on them and Bob as well. Okay, gang. We've had a look at the trees, which are beautiful, by the way. Um, and I'm going to give you a little information uh, that Bob sent me with the trees. Uh, he wrote, these pine trees are completely handmade by him and are made in the USA. Way to go, Bob. That's a good uh, plug in there. We always like that. Uh, they're made one at a time. No two look the same. And they are at a great price of $3.39 each. And if any of you have tried to make a pine tree or sat down and tried to make enough pine trees to make anything out of, you know that that's quite a daunting task. And I'm sure that Bob has probably made way more of these than he cares to even think about. But, Bob, these trees are well worth that money. They're well worth that money. I would recommend anybody going to look at Bob's trees. Um... He wrote in they are there that they are in scale only to keep the cost down and they are made of natural materials and they, and they are made to look like redwoods and sequoias or just about any pine tree to fit a scene. And I will have to agree with that. They look extremely nice when you put them up close to a, a locomotive or a car or whatever. I think they're scaled perfectly. When you initially look at them, they, they look large, but they're a large tree. I mean, that's what he modeled them to be and they are a large tree. So I think they're outstanding. I, I think they look really, really good. And I think several of them in a scene, a hundred of them in the scene, it really look good. Um, and we, he continues on with Perfection Takes Time and at Long Shadows Trees, Modeltrees.com takes the time to make a great product for the, at the right price for a modeler. And I, even though I flubbed that all up, I would have to agree, Bob, that people who don't want to sit down and even attempt to make a tree half this good uh, it, it's just a time-consuming effort and Bob has done hundreds and hundreds and if not thousands and thousands of trees and I've seen a lot of them and uh, Gavin did a review on some trees that he sent us quite some time ago and I will try and post a link to that on the bottom down here so you can go there and take a look at that I will also po post a link down there to uh, Bob's website. He has a really outstanding website, by the way. You can go there and look at all scale trees. Uh, it's www.longshadowsmodel, and that's shadows with an S, modeltrees.com. Plural. Longshadowsmodeltrees, plural, dot com. Um, and you can find it. Even if you just type it, I'm pretty sure that even if you go to Google and type in Long Shadow Trees, that you find them there. But uh, that's his correct email address, or his correct uh, website address. And I will post that in the description. And I hope you'll look Bob up. He's a great guy. I've known him for a long time on YouTube. Um, he never fails to comment on any of my videos. And, and I know that's a hard thing to do, Bob. And I, and I for one, appreciate it. Uh, I try and keep up with Bob's layout and try and post uh, something when he posts uh, a video of his layout, which he has a nice one, by the way. And uh, I hope you guys look him up. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and Bob appreciates it.